we have the eugenicists, all part of this whole agenda is the eugenic agenda. Look at all the big foundations, look into what they promoted, look into the Rockefellers and others, and you find they're all eugenicists. They don't believe in keeping surplus herd around, and the public are the herd to them, you see. If you have a, a good job to benefit them at the top, uh, then they'll tolerate you. But if you don't serve them well enough, they want to eliminate you. As I said before, they claim there's too many of us, and all I have to do is look at the Nazi regime. And the communist regime, you didn't see many cripples walking around the Soviet Union because they were doing the same darn thing there as Nazi Germany was doing. And that was killing off what they called the medically or mentally unfit. And we're going to talk about this right after this break. Hi folks, I'm Alan Watt. We're cutting through the matrix. Just before the break, I was talking about how the same Nazi type philosophy started in the Nazi Germany uh, system with euthanasia. Before World War II started, euthanasia of what they called the fit, the unfit, the, the mentally subnormal, and even the elderly, and crippled people too. And as I say, if you look into the Soviet policies, I don't think they were any different, to be honest with you. We know that in China, for instance, which is a communist country, believe it or not, it's a strange mixture of communism and capitalism, but it was founded by the West, so I'm not surprised. In China, they allow many of the orphans to die. And here's the Mail Online in good old Britain, again, the home of democracy. And it says here, all people with dementia have a duty to die. A duty to die. That's very British, you see. Because this new world order, you see, you, you'll have a duty to serve the world state. That's their own terms for it. A duty to die and should be pushed towards death at Baroness Warnock. She's one of the elite, you know, one of the, 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 the special elite interbred types. This is by Steve Doughty, 19th of September, 2008. Elderly people with dementia are wasting the lives of those who have to care for them, one of the country's most influential experts on medical ethics said yesterday. Baroness Warnock, what the name's Warnock, said that for the old and sick who are contemplating dying, there's nothing wrong with feeling you ought to do so. I wonder if she's talking about herself. I somehow don't think she is. Her remarks in an interview with a church journal were the first public suggestion from any expert with close links to Whitehall, that's the British government, that euthanasia should not only be legal, but that elderly people should be pressed towards death. Lady Warnock said, if you are demented, you're wasting people's lives, your family's lives, and you are wasting the resources of the National Health Service. Her remarks were condemned as shocking ignorance and barbaric by Alzheimer's charities. Right to Life groups furiously attacked her and fellow supporters of euthanasia of telling the public they want a right to choose while privately supporting compulsory killing. Lady Warnock, 84, was the head of the committee which during the 1980s opened the way for legal research on human embryos. She's a real charmer. This woman, a real, real charmer, one of the real old school types. But there's lots of them, lots of them over there. And in, in a way, I'm glad they're, they're really showing their hand and their face for the first time. These are the same ones that pushed abortion on the public, you know, the lower classes, because they were terrified we'd outbreed them. And that was written about by Charles Galton Darwin, one of the elite himself, in his book called The Next Million Years. Continue with this one here, influential in education as well as in medical ethics. She became an open supporter of euthanasia after her ill husband was helped to die by the doctor in 1995. She told the Church of Scotland's magazine Life and Work, I had just written an article called A Duty to Die for a Norwegian periodical. I wrote it really suggesting that there's nothing wrong with feeling you ought to do so for the sake of others as well as yourself. Now, I've told you, too, this is the kind of stuff that's getting pumped into children to do with sterilization, too many people, and so on. And you'll soon find young volunteers in this sci-fi world we're now living in coming forward and offering themselves as sacrifices to save the planet. I'm not kidding. That will happen. You wait and see. She added, I'm absolutely fully in agreement with the argument that if pain is insufferable, then someone should be given help to die. But I feel there is a wider argument that if someone absolutely desperately wants to die, 
because they're a burden to their own family or the state, then I think they too should be allowed to die. What she's really saying here, burden to the family or the state, she's talking about economic reasons. Lady Warnock first suggested that the elderly and sick should die rather than becoming a burden four years ago. In 2006, she reported an attempt by fellow peers to push through a law allowing doctors to kill patients suffering unbearable pain. Some, some 700,000 in Britain have dementia, and this is expected to double. This is another one of their weird statistics we have no proof of, actually, over the next 30 years. Rebecca Wood, chief executive of the Alzheimer's Research Trust, said, Lydia Warnock demonstrates a shocking ignorance when espousing her highly insensitive views. People with dementia can live quite comfortably and cared for properly. The solution to our dementia crisis is not euthanasia. The answer is more research so we can find new treatments, preventions, and a cure. Well, they know what causes all of this because they've given it to us. Neil Hunt of the Alzheimer's Society said, with the right care, a person could call it life, very late into dementia. And then you have all the different ones coming back, uh, criticizing what she said. And make no mistake here, this isn't an accident she's come out with this. This is timed. It'll be timed when the other big agencies and foundations go to work on the same topic. And remember, repetition. Repetition is something which is very important to get it into our subconscious minds, that this is a new normal thing to do. These are the same people that say who started at the first and the early end, the child, the child. They wanted the unborn child destroyed, basically. They didn't want the common people to breed up. And now they're going for the other end of the spectrum, the elderly, the infirm, the sick, and so on. And it won't stop, believe you me. That's the whole thing with the pillars. The pillars all hold up the roof of the building. You knock one down, and that means it's much easier to knock the other ones down. You can't ever let them take one step forward, and you cannot ever take one step back. With these characters, there is no compromise. No compromise whatsoever. And they are on the warpath. And we better, better be very, very aware of it. 